Today, on Drive Trainer, we will be demonstrating how to convert your Transmission Electronic Control Unit, or TECU, to your newly remanufactured Volvo iShift or Mac M Drive Transmission. The Class 8 market is quickly transitioning from manual transmissions to automated manual transmissions, or AMTs. The primary reason for these changes are advancements in technology that improve driver comfort and recruiting, as well as performance and fuel economy. There are three primary suppliers of AMTs currently, Eaton, Volvo Mac, and Daimler Freightliner. Today, we will be discussing the Volvo iShift, also known as the Mac M Drive. When installing your TECU onto your remanufactured automated manual transmission, you must perform these steps. On your core unit, disconnect the harness that is connected to the clutch control valve. Then remove the 14 larger bolts from the TECU with a 15 mm wrench, and the six smaller bolts with a 13 mm wrench. Lift the back of the TECU top cover from the control housing. Be careful not to slide the top cover forward, as this may damage the ribbon inside. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the top cover before removing it from the control housing. On your slave valve, remove the service plug. Make sure to cover up the port to prevent debris from getting inside. Remove the airline and valve mounting fasteners. Then, disconnect the clutch position wiring harness connector. If there is a strap securing the wiring harness, cut it and remove the valve assembly. Make sure that the input shaft has the discs facing upward. Next, remove the clip securing the air hose to the clutch cylinder and disconnect it from the clutch cylinder. Remove the clutch cylinder mounting bolts, then the clutch cylinder. On your purchase unit, remove the protective cover from the top of the control housing. Be sure that no dirt or debris enters the control housing. Install two profile seals, the O-ring and gasket found in the gasket kit on the control housing. Ensure that your TECU is not cracked, damaged, or dirty before installing it onto the control housing. Connect the ribbon cable to the TECU. Carefully lower the TECU onto the control housing. Ensure that the TECU does not slide forward during installation. Make sure that the O-ring, gasket, and seals remain aligned. Replace the O-ring on the air hose, and then install the clutch cylinder and the air hose. Ensure that the sealing surfaces on the clutch valve are clean. Replace the seal on the valve if needed. Connect the clutch position sensor harness. Install the clutch valve mounting fasteners. Then, connect the clutch control valve air supply line to the upper control housing fitting. Then the clutch valve wiring connector to the control housing. Reinstall the valve service plug. Fill your transmission with the approved lubricant and inspect for leaks. After installation, you must perform a clutch calibration and gear relearn. You must do this with the Volvo Premium Tech Tool or the Test software. This step will reset the adaptives in your TECU. Failure to perform this step will likely result in poor shifting and excessive wear to the gearbox. Contact your local sales representative for more information on how to obtain the Volvo Premium Tech Tool or JAL Test software. Come back and watch our other videos to ensure proper installation and maintenance of your drivetrain components.